Dude, look Dude, how awesome like, this is. This is magical, man. Dude, I feel like I'm in an ocean. <laughs> Woo! Dude, Dude, this is a dinosaur out here. Where do you think that's from right there? What species? This is not just an ordinary pond right here. This right here is a spring-fed pond. Alright, so before we get into today's video, we're gonna go ahead and call the winner of the C8 Corvette along with $30,000 cash. So his name is Andrew DeHart from Marlboro, Massachusetts. We're gonna go ahead and try to FaceTime him. A lot of times, winners don't actually just pick up when you FaceTime, but I like to just give it a shot. So let's go ahead and hit FaceTime. Wonder why it's... Oh, there it is. It's FaceTime. <clears throat> This is exciting. This is super exciting, dude. <laughs> yeah, get down. Get his reaction. We got some top secret stuff going on in the background, so we're trying to keep it hidden as well. Probably sleeping. Could we're be. at work. Andrew. Andrew. What's happening, brother? Hi. How you doing, man? Good. What you up to? You going to work, going to school? I'm just working right now. Just working? Well, we got some good news for you, man. You're the winner of the C8 Corvette along with 30,000, man. You're kidding. No, man. <laughs> you won that sucker, dude. Oh my God. Dude, you're gonna love this thing. It's such a sick car. We've drove it around for a little bit, you know, with it cammed out and it just looks sick and it drives sick and you're gonna get to take it home, man. You're kidding. What kind no? of cars are you driving right now? What are you driving right now, man? Um, I Well, I have a couple. I have a Miata and a, a SI. Nice. Those are nice cars. Those are nice cars. But now, I, now you got a V8. Yeah, you, now you got a V8, a Cam V8 that looks like that right there, man. That thing is insane. Um, but, but, man, we appreciate the support, man. We're happy that it was you. You're, uh, you seem super excited, so it's going to be awesome. Oh, my God. You're just in shock, ain't you? Yeah. Look at this thing, dude. Oh my God. So sick, man. But hey, what do you want to do? Do you want to come out here? Do you want us to deliver it to you? You want to come out? Oh. Um, hey, he's I just, cannot believe. he can't even talk right now. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's an unreal thing, man. Oh my God. Can't believe it, right? No. <laughs> How long have you been watching us? Um, for a long time. Dude. I, I watch you, like, my dad always, so, like, I'll be watching in the kitchen. He's like, is that the twins? And I'm like, he, he it's just, he, like, because he hears, like, you guys start the video, and he just, like, always wants to watch with me, and he's, like, super interested, and, yeah. like, I've been watching since about the Mustang. Dang, that's like that's the beginning. A long, yeah, like pretty much the beginning. Like, and I like it's super. I, I cannot believe, <laughs> dude, man. That's that's awesome, man. It's it's so cool that you were watching from the beginning, and now you get to meet us, and you get to take home this C8 Corvette with a thirty thousand, dude. That just makes us super happy. You know what I mean? That's just that's so awesome. Um, but I guess I'm gonna let you take it all in. What's gonna happen right now is the sweepstakes company. I'm gonna let them know that you, you know you're you're good to go. Um, they're gonna contact you. They're gonna take all your information. Might make you fill out some okay. paperwork. And dude, we'll schedule something in where you can pick this thing up. We'll have an awesome party for you, man. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, man. We'll stay in touch. I'll text you and stuff. So um, soak it in, man. Calm your nerves a little bit. And thank you. Yeah, let let your dad know that you know you won this thing, man. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Appreciate the support. Take care. All right. Peace, bye. man. See ya. Dude. He couldn't dude, even talk. Dude, he speechless. Was, dude, he was so speechless, man. That was, that was emotional right there, dude. I about teared up, man. Hey, man, he's just sitting in a car. He said he has a Miata and a Honda SI. Dude. Now he got his first, imagine, I think, V8, man. Dude, first V8. Imagine an upgrade like this, dude. Insane. That's why we do what we do, man. We love just to change somebody's life, man. It's just so awesome. That's the main man. reason. It's just people's reactions like that and people coming out and they enjoy this stuff. We enjoy it. They enjoy it. 
you change somebody's life. Dude, 100%. So we're gonna set up a whole entire party for them like we like to do, but as of right now, let's get to the video. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today is a huge day. And as you guys know where we started, we started basically from our parents' basement. We were just working out of the garage in the basement, and you know what? We got some stuff done there, and then we slowly expanded to our parents' just backyard where we built a little structure. We stayed there for a couple of years, and then we made it over here to this Goon Squad garage where we've been here a couple of years, and as you guys can tell, we are already outgrowing this place, so you already know what time it is. It's time to expand even bigger. So right now, we're gonna go check out our brand new property, the 100 acre new Goon Squad farm. Guys, we bought a 100 acre abandoned cattle farm for the channel and check this beautiful place out right here. We just did a little bit of ripping and one percentage of the property and oh my goodness, it was an absolute blast. And this is literally perfect for us, man. You guys know we've been ripping around the shop and clearly we needed our own just proving grounds and this is pretty much it. I mean, we got all the terrain out here. We got rolling hills. I mean, that just looks like that Windows background. Remember the screensaver yeah. of the old, like, I don't know, Windows? The XP's. XP. <laughs> that is it right there. So beautiful right there. We got woods, we got hills, we got off-roading, and we got something epic in the middle. We'll get to a little bit later. But oh my goodness, we're just super grateful for just for you guys for supporting us because honestly, none of this would be possible without you guys. So huge shout out to you guys and we're gonna just make some super awesome content for you guys. But I guess right now, what we're gonna do is probably give you guys a whole property tour. I mean, 100 acres, that's gonna be a lot to cover, but you know what? Every bit of this property is gonna be super epic. We need a name for this property. What are we calling I this, I mean, we dude? already just went through so many names. There's a one that's been sticking around, though. We, I think we're thinking horsepower farms, dude. Yes, sir. There's no horses here yet, but we got some power that's going to exactly. come out here. Exactly. We got different forms of horses. You yes, know what sir. I mean? And also, we were thinking horsepower wrench. Not ranch, wrench. But I don't know. That one doesn't really ring as nice as horsepower We farms. may even come up with something completely different, but we're throwing names out there already. Yep. You guys <laughs> drop that in the comment section. But as of right now, let's hop onto our machine and give you guys a property tour. So starting off at the front of this property right here, or the side of the property, this is the entrance for now. It's kind of like on the left side of the property, but we are planning on doing the main entrance smack dab in the middle of this property. It's a lot better over there, and it's gonna make it easier to get in and out, especially once we do our construction and everything like that. But this property does have a lot of road frontage right there, which I guess is pretty cool because it's gonna allow for heavy equipment to get in and out, no problem at all. And we're literally like 25 minutes away from the shop. So that's why we jumped on this property so fast, not just because of the beauty, but also just 
the convenience as well, dude. dude we, yeah, we can just run over here. It's even closer to us from our houses. Yes, so that's it's right. It's not like an hour away. Like we've been looking at other properties. It's super close yep. and it's, it's, it's great, man. It I'm is great. You. Just in this corner right here, look at it. It's already fenced off. We're going to put like either a donkey or like a maybe goat. some billy goats in there, dude. <laughs> Definitely want to have some animals out here. I think that'd be super awesome. It'll help you know, cut down on the mowing costs. That's dude. what I'm saying, man. You have two goats, they'll eat all that away. <laughs> dude, I am telling you, man, it's so awesome. Definitely got the privacy out here for sure that we want. You know, we do got one neighbor over there, but we're gonna probably do some trees there. And this is not the only field that you're seeing right here. There is something hidden back over there. We'll check out here in a little bit. But right now, I think we're gonna go to the first and only structure on this property. And that's like right there. I don't know what exactly it is, but let's check it out. Do we have here, man, a good old barn. This is the only structure on this property, which is a good thing, dude. Good thing, because I mean, if we knock this down, we're gonna have a clean slate to do whatever we want. But I think this is where they kept the cattle because there's like a bunch of cattle dung on the floor. There's a big old patty here, which kind of looks what? fresh. And they said around 10 years ago, they had cattle here. So that's a very long time for that piece of patty to, to last, there. dude. That's some good, you know, topsoil droppings, you know, to make the soil better. Oh you know? yeah, 100%. But this building is falling apart, it's rotting away. It honestly, could fall over any second now. I mean, this is kind of scary, but it's here. I think that's just where they herded the cattle in because if you hop on this side, let's walk over here. Pops found the little area. Look, there's already stuff here. We can go ahead and start digging. But this area, I believe, is an area where they actually rounded the cattle in here and I think gave them their vaccines or like took care of them, you know what I mean? Yeah, look, there's a vaccine bottle right oh, there. Oh yeah, dude. look at that, man. What is that? Sterile, dilute, whatever. Dang, Who knows? That's I mean, crazy. well, check this out. So they probably closed this door right here and all the cattle was forced into there. And watch this, man. I think they put the cattle's head in there. They opened it up and as soon as they're gonna run through, Bam. Bam. Pow, dude. Locked in, man. Go ahead and clip or, you know, whatever, do whatever, you, do. whatever you gotta do to the cow, man. This is awesome. When we destroy this thing, I think we're gonna keep this. You know, that'll be a cool little piece to have if we get a cow, man. Exactly. <laughs> Cause dude. that'd be pretty cool. Where do you get cows, dude? I think you call up Craigslist or something, you know? Facebook Marketplace? <laughs> I'd like one of those mini cows, you know, the with, micro long, cattle, with the dude. long hair and the horns. Dude, that would be awesome. If somebody got one, holler at your boy, man. We may dude. have to cop one. <laughs> Start a whole petting zoo out here, but look at this structure, dude. That looks so rotten, dude. This could literally oh. come down right now, man. Look at this, it's already falling apart. Let's get out of here, but this is definitely gonna get destroyed. I mean, 100% we're gonna or destroy this. Or we can store this. something in it for yeah. now. We can probably throw a tractor in there, you know, keep it away from the rain. That's a pretty good idea and just wait until it falls over. <laughs> yes, that is right. But dude, look at those just meadows right there. I think, I think we go into the center right now, man. That's the main, basically, reason why we bought this property right there. life shenanigans dude i love the farm life what about you oh yeah this is the best life to live drive through this uh grass right here dude, dude. this is my favorite i mean I'll, i wish we could plant this grass everywhere look at this man i'm gonna hide in it dude <laughs> whoa oh, oh snap there's your old barrels and stuff dude <laughs> dude look dude, how this awesome is like, this is this is magical man dude, i feel like i'm in an ocean <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> Dang. Dude, that is awesome, dude. I imagine, we, I imagine think, the Viper flying through there, dude. Anything, we need to run through it with the car, dude. But I don't want to mow that. I love that grass, man. I know, right, dude? That is sick. Do a drift. Drift that thing. Donut? Yeah. You gotta lock, you gotta lock. Woo! Gotta lock the rear end, boy. Just in case I flip, I'm gonna put this thing on right here. You ain't gonna flip, dude. This thing is made from Baja. Let's Baja it up. Go ahead. Mow some grass. Woo! That thing sounds so sick. Like 
20 foot rooster tails. Dang, dude. man. Like 20 foot rooster tails, dude, dude. This thing is a ripper, man. I love grass, man. Grass drifting is fun in these things. I love man. fields, dude. This is amazing, dude. You see that big old drift? If I get a little bit longer on this property, we'll be drifting the whole thing, dude. dude I'm telling you, this <laughs> is what we needed right here, dude. This is epic, man. Pops, there's a lot of barrels in just in random areas, metal barrels. Yeah, kind of sketchy. We got to clean this whole property up. Yeah, because right now we're kind of sketched out to like just rip it like through it, everything because we don't know if there could be like sinkholes we don't know if there's ditches we don't know like barrels like we completely ran over those barrels with this four-wheeler that could have like toppled you over so that's kind of one of the main reasons why we're kind of just like keeping it easy but ripping at the same time you having know? fun man <laughs> yes, sir but right there i say we go right there man and just look at it All right, so I'd say this is probably one of the main events of this property right here, this pond right here. And this is not just an ordinary pond right here. This right here is a spring-fed pond, which that was one of the things that we really wanted to have some sort of water source. That way, you know, if you do have cattle, you know, you can actually have them drink water. But also, our plan with this is to turn this into a lake. We'll show you guys why this can get turned into a lake a little bit later. We'll have to go on that side of the property. But dude, look at this, dude. Super clean water. We'll go, go ahead and show you guys like the flow of the water. I think it's like, it's a pretty dang good spring, dude. This ain't just your regular, oh, uh, like one gallon per minute spring. I think this is like pumping like probably like five gallons a minute. What do you think, dude? I, I think it's pumping a lot because the runoff off of this is pretty quick. The water looks super clean. I mean, look at that. Ooh. It's not murky. And it's, it's cold, dude. It's cold. It's clean. I don't know where the water is coming out of. Probably in the ground somewhere over there. We'll figure all that out. But, dude, yep. the potential that we've seen when we've seen this is major. Dude, it is major. We're, we're talking like a, like a legit lake where we can have jet skis and boats in it, dude. Heck, yeah. Maybe even put, like, fish, do a fishing exactly. pond. And, of course, we talked to the, the owner, the previous owner, and that's exactly what he was telling us. He owns another 100 acres across the street, and he built, like, a massive, lake over there as well like i think a seven acre lake so he said the ground is perfect i believe you don't even have to bring in clay all you have to do is just dig it out and just mound it up over there and the water will stay pretty dude, much that's dude. gonna be awesome that's the most exciting thing ever we've never really dug a pond out or anything like that we're probably gonna look it up or if there's any experts yep. comment that stuff down below but we're excited about this yeah we brought in the expert right here we got david he's an expert fisherman I don't know about expert pond What's the building? main fish that we want in this pond? Bass, dude. Definitely want some like 10 pounders. Yep. Up to even 20 pounders if that's possible. You know Dang, I mean? we're going to have some alligators in here too. Some gar, some <laughs> actual alligators. Dude, definitely we want to stock this pond with all sorts of goodies. Like maybe trout where you can fish it and cook it. You know what I mean? Dude, if there's anybody out there that delivers fish like that, I know there's hatcheries somewhere around dude. here. It'd be nice to get some out here after we build a pond yes. of course even if you guys got to drop them via airdrop airdrop helicopter <laughs> drone whatever let's quickly show you guys this um the, i guess the stream i don't know where exactly the source is of the spring but we'll find it a little bit later yeah they dammed this off so this is a dam that they dammed off with the uh, dirt that way their cattle can just drink some water right here but it's pouring out pretty hard dude look at that listen to that right there dude that is crazy and it hasn't rained in a, in a little bit now so that is legit flow right there Dude, I wonder if you can drink this stuff. We'll have to get it tested maybe, but it'd be I, awesome to just yeah, drink it. Yeah, I dude. think after we like dig this out, we'll probably take this dam away, drain it to see exactly where the source is. Well, we may like yep. uh, encaps encapsulate where it's coming out of, you know what 100%, I mean? percent dude, but I guess let's go ahead and show you guys the other side of the potential lake, and then we'll keep moving with this whole entire piece. guys that's the huge valley that we're talking about that's gonna make one of the deepest lakes about here you know what i mean oh yeah i mean this valley right here that's where the runoff is coming from from that little pond or the spring right there and if we can dam that off i'm telling you that's like a 50 foot 80 foot drop right there and imagine all that filled with water 
Dude, that would be perfect water for fish, dude. I'm telling you, man. Exactly. That's what we were thinking right here. It's so it's already pretty much cut out. We don't literally have to cut too much of that dirt. We just need to shape it how we want it. Shape it, probably get rid of most of these trees right here. Um, just all these little brush and probably even pile it at the bottom because fish love stuff like that, you know. And then it'll just fill up over time or we may even end up just digging some of it out on the sides depending on the layout. We kind of want to get a drone idea. shot. Yes. Get a drone shot, figure the landscape out. I know you can even get on maps that will give you like, you know, how your property is laid out so we can see exactly where to put this dirt and have the ultimate. I mean, that would be so epic. You know how much activities you can have when you have a lake? Dude. Many. Plenty of activities. So many activities, dude. You can literally drive across it with something, dude. I say we go down there and see how what kind of runoff we're Let's getting. Let's go. We've never been down there. Of right course, here's a little trail. I we think. did look at this property before, of course, before we bought it. Yeah, yeah. But we didn't explore it like this. So let's go down there and see what we can find. Dude. I mean, look, it already looks like a game trail. So this almost looks like animals walk down here, probably deer or something like that. And uh, what is this? Oh, look at that. A piece of bone. Oh, or that something. is a bone right there. Looks like an old bone. Or Looks something. like a, a, a ear. ear. <laughs> well, that's an ear bone. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Look, a feather. feather. Probably duck, geese, turkeys. I'm sure there's all sorts of wildlife out here. And they're probably coming to this water source right here. And they're drinking the water, which that's another good thing about having a water source because you're going to attract wildlife. And look, look how clear that dude, is. That dude, that is so clear. And just the, the flow is so good. Good, it's man. a lot of flow. There's tons of water coming through here. And look, if we block it off from there all the way up to there, dude, this is going to be a pretty decent sized lake. You know what I mean? It's going to be awesome. Are right, we going to the other field? Yeah, let's go like right here. Let's explore this part first. another like landscape look out here you know what dude, I mean dude this is the I think the end of the property I believe there's a fence right here for the property line and look at that we haven't even touched any of that and that's all fields right all there all fields right there and look at this it actually that hill blocks the road so you can put like a nice barn dominium out here or anything even like a big house and you'll have privacy man that's exactly that's awesome. dude. yeah that's one of the main things that we're definitely going to do out here is a sick barn dominium oh, where yeah. we can stay out here and also be able to work out here yeah. all on the farm and do some ripping early in the morning late at night whenever because dude. there's no noise ordinance no out here no noise dude. ordinance man it'll be super fun i mean who even needs noise ornaments ornaments <laughs> <laughs> you don't need no ornaments out here because look at that man you got plenty of property i don't think the neighbors will even hear you i mean there's so much woods and stuff like that and i mean the ripping is going to be impeccable out here Woo! I think there's a ditch right here. Yeah, careful. Yeah, there's water. Another spring. Is that another spring? Could be. This looks epic. Look. That's oh. literally all of ours right there. From there all the way to there. In the woods there. Dude, how's this ours right now, dude? This is crazy, man. This is insane. Look at the Bronco coming up. The Bronco's way down over there, dude. That's that is, far. Dude, this is beautiful. I mean, this is just amazing, man. Another basically flat top on this hill part right here. So it's a flat top. Almost looks like the highest point of this property, which is beautiful, man. Dude, I've never been up here. Even when we were looking at the property, I don't yeah. think we've ever came up uh, here. We dude. just walked it. You know, we walked a little bit of it. We didn't really see much. I mean, mainly pictures, but this is nice, man. <laughs> Dang, look at that thing is scooting. Dang. That's what it's all about. That's out here. what it's all about. The freedom that you get out here with the horsepower. Dang, David is ripping. That thing's fun. I mean, that thing was built for like land like this. You know, we got the Baja kit on here. That thing got some sweet shocks, but that thing can go on some sweet jumps. We got a fire hydrant. That's a good thing right there. Fire hydrant nearby. Fill our pond up if we have to, you know? We're not gonna need it. It's just <laughs> for emergencies if we do some crazy stuff out here. Dude. Oh yeah.
right, so we basically explored the whole entire front area over here. There's still a back area, which I think is even more epic than the front personally. But of course, we didn't touch every bit of this field because there's just so much out here. But there's one interesting thing that I do kind of want to tell you guys about the reason why this terrain is the way that it is. So you guys might have noticed like it's almost like a bunch of hills, a bunch of dips and valleys throughout all the fields. I think the farmers were forced to actually make the land like that. I don't know what for, maybe for water or drainage or Erosion something. Erosion control. Erosion. Yeah, so there's just cutouts in yep. all the fields, like little steps. They like step down, which they're actually pretty fun. You see yep. us like jumping in the middle of the fields. That's what we're jumping is those Dude, little steps. That is awesome. We're definitely going to leave some of that, but we will take care of some of that maybe in different areas, make like a perfect flat area where we can maybe pave like a little racetrack or some sort of road like some sort of drag strip maybe perhaps dude, something epic like what that, if we dude. did like a track around the whole property like through the woods and everything dude that'd be we awesome definitely could and that's our plan to do something epic for the builds that we have because all of our builds are pretty much just sitting right now so we need a place to rip them suckers around and this is it right here but i guess it's gonna be epic but i guess right now let's go through the woods and show you guys what's back there Look at this luscious grass right That's here. That's what I'm dude. saying. I think this is like where the main cows were at, you know, because that fencing area is. And look how tall and green it is. It's like dark green. And I think this is the highest we can go because if it goes any higher, we're going to have to bring a dang bush hogger out here. For sure, dude. That looks like something that like could go into a salad in a gourmet restaurant, dude. You, that's why cows just flourish out here, which is a good thing that it's an old cattle farm because all the manure that they spread everywhere is like perfect topsoil stuff. <laughs> Oh, that was fast. Dude, that was awesome. You gotta watch out for them potholes or... I think this little area, like all the way on the side, of the whole side of the road is pretty good, you know? Yeah, it is Where, where you can see where somebody already like drove. <laughs> this is sketch. Oh, oh, it was a big hole. You were not expecting that. Watch. Yay, <laughs> son. Dang, look at this entrance right here. This is sick right here. This is awesome. So all of this right here is our property. And it's like a valley over here. And it's got little streams that run through it. Which these streams, I don't know what's going on. So they're crazy. Some they're sort of sorcery or something, dude. Yeah, we're going to definitely have to talk about these when we get into the woods, you know? Yes. We'll dude. first check out this area. Let's go out there, dude. here man what so right here is what we got actually a big old pretty much flat field nothing cut out in it nothing whatsoever it's a big old square it's perfect i believe they probably cut this out for not cattle it looks like almost for hunting so they probably had a deer stand somewhere out here because it's far back here there's wood surrounding it and it's a perfect field for hunting but dude this is a perfect field for drifting hunt, drifting hunting down other vehicles you know what i mean just ripping yes. around in here man dude this is what we were thinking like maybe doing the barn dominium over here or maybe having a barn dominium over there somewhere and then over here having like the shop with a big old concrete pad around it where we could oh, just shred. I'm telling you, there's so many just endless ideas, but this is like one of like a highlight, you know, the, the pond area is a highlight. This is like the second highlight, what kind of sold the property, which is just super awesome because it's actually hidden from everything. It's over, a, under, you know, under a valley, over a hill, and here you got a big old field. <laughs> Dude, this is just awesome right here. And of course we got a bunch of woods right there. All this woods is ours right here. And we can probably go through a little bit of it and show you guys yeah, we can go all through about it. All of it. I mean, there's even, I think at the end, you can go into another valley with another water source. It is just beautiful out here. I mean, this is crazy. Look at that little tree right there, blooming. <laughs> Look how 
bug guts on me. Yeah, they hit me in the face. Woo. I didn't even see you. I had to step Dude. up on here. <laughs> That's awesome right there, man. Just It just feels so good to just be out there wind going through your you hair. feel free, you know? That's what I'm saying, dude. That's why that's why I'm so happy we got this right here, dude. I can't wait to actually start building all sorts of stuff. We definitely got to do a lot of planning and a lot yeah. of execution. We're going to make it happen, dude. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're not going to explore into the woods there. We did walk it before, of course, we made the purchase, but it's super awesome over there. We'll save that for some other time, probably once we get our bouncer out here or some other machines. That way we can go out there, maybe do some clearing as well. So. That's gonna be awesome, but just this right here is just so freaking amazing right here, guys. It's so just peaceful out here. I love this weather. I love farms, dude. I'm telling you, man, this is beautiful. Yes, and we're gonna go ahead and go back down this same road right here, and we're gonna go to some streams, some weird stuff going on over there. Let's go check it out. Looks like there's a trail that goes right there. We'll go there later. this drive right here guys i mean that's just awesome if we did build something over there and we got this all paved or did some asphalt or some sort of rock crushing run or something that's just such a cool drive definitely would have to put something down or we'd be slipping on the way there so i believe there's another spring coming off the neighbor's property and it goes this way right here and it literally just disappears somewhere right here there's no end to it right here so where is it going dude dude it looks like it's all going underground right there because there's no stream over there oh wow dude that might be quicksand look at that yeah that. quicksand on this property man dude be careful. there's like sand right there man that is awesome that's why the water is actually super clean it probably filters through the sand you know what i mean that's probably that's probably exactly what it is but put your hand down in that hole where's it going shoot might pull out a big old snapping turtle or a snapping turtle but I guess let's see where it goes. I mean, another massive hole right here, but I don't see any water there. Might be a coyote living in there. Well, let's keep on walking over here. Look at this, another stream, and it just disappears into the ground. Just disappears. Pops. Like the little sinkholes, careful. Where's it, yeah, where's it going? Do we got quicksand here I, or something? No, no, I, I think you have in, in the bottom here too much uh, rocks. Oh, Between yeah. Between the rocks you have uh, Hole, like hole. underwater just yeah. the rivers or something yeah. but that's pretty cool let's go over here and show you guys i guess where it comes out of the ground Dang. look at that literally so, pops out right there that's crazy and that water is super clean definitely spring water it looks yes, like dude i can't wait to actually have a sauna like set up right here dig it out a little bit and have a nice little plunge you jump in there nice cold plunge yes and you cool off oh. careful you might just sink down Dang, that's not, I bet it, it will feel so good to walk barefoot on that. Dude, Dude that'd for be sure. Sick. More craziness. See, that's a big stream right there. That's a huge stream and it just ends right here. You can kind of see like bubbles coming out of the ground. I mean, this is some hard surface too and the water just disappears, just goes. And it's like dry land right here, which is like super interesting about this property. And then look, it like will pop up randomly over here. Like, look at that. And then it disappears again. <laughs> so dude, it just comes out of the ground right there and then goes back into the ground. That is cool. Dude. Never Honestly, seen that. I've never seen that either. Dude, look at this barrel back here. Look, what does it say on it right there? Something. Rodriguez? Aventura Rodriguez. It's probably some sort of farm, Fertilize. like pesticide or fertilizer. There's another one over there. Another barrel is like old buckets in this. We're going to definitely clean all this out. But this area kind of turns into like a rock climbing course. I mean, this is where your rocks are. That was all like nice and smooth. Then you turn around right here and look at this. This will be perfect for our rock bouncer. Do some crawling. It gets pretty steep just all throughout. Dude, this is sick, dude. I say we hike up there. I think that's where our big field opens up. What dude. on earth? That's like a femur, dude. Is that a leg bone? Should I be touching what? this? What? Probably not. Dude, that's probably from an animal, man. Dude, big deer or something. Something like the coyotes probably ate like a deer. What? That's a pretty big bone right there, man. That is crazy. Horse bone? Yeah. This is like the stuff that we can like bush hog and clean out. Definitely you know? gonna bush hog all of this for sure. Look at that. What? Dude, Another. more bones? Another. Is that, is that a skull? Dude, that literally looks like the side of a skull. Or a hip bone or something. Yeah, that might be, definitely there was cattle out here, so I think, oh, no way. Dang, 
or is this a dog bone that somebody tossed out here? That's a dinosaur bone, dude. dude this is a dinosaur out here. Where do you think that's from right there? What species? Pterodactyl. <laughs> it's gotta be a dinosaur, dude. Whoa, there's literally little scatters oh, of skull. bone. No way. Dude, look. It's got like what? plants growing through it. Are you kidding me? Oh. Look at the teeth. Bro, that's a Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. That's definitely <laughs> a cow or a Oh yeah, it could horse, be a you know cow I mean? or something, dude. That is pretty wild. Look at the teeth on it. Whoa, Whoa. the tooth is loose. Pops, are you seeing that? Oh, oh what? my goodness, dude. A whole spinal cord, dude. Dang, we got dinosaurs. No way, it's like a oh, rib and my. everything. Dude, is this like a graveyard out here? You know what I mean? Like for animals? I have what if no we're in like idea. a wolf's den out here or a bear's den? This is like where it drops its stuff. We better be careful. <laughs> Dang, look at all that, man. They just keep going. There's another skull there. There's more hip bones. There's just bones everywhere. I mean, they're lying around everywhere. So we're gonna go back and grab the machines because we walked pretty far. Yeah, we already walked pretty far and it's just, it's tiring, dude. Literally walking this much acres, man, you get wore out, but we're getting just like carried away because it's just so epic out here. We're just like discovering New things, it's like Lewis and Clark, dude. I feel like I'm on an expedition. We're gonna go through the pond. Oh, you got a whole rooster tail on your butt, dude. We're definitely gonna have to do a lot more clearing. Oh yeah, oh, hit Pops. that one up right Pops there. Pops wants me to hit that one right there. I'll, I'll save that one for him. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's easy to pull off. Yeah, it does look a little sketchy right there, but we do have a lot of bush clearing or bush hogging that we need to do in this area because it's not like super crazy. It's like these little tall brush right here and it's a lot of usable land. And all the woods over there is ours too. So that's gonna be kind of one of those things that we're definitely gonna have to do here really soon. I think what we're gonna start with doing is probably mowing everything, bring in some tractors, bring in some heavy equipment, bush hoggers, excavators, and just clear out a bunch of stuff, knock down these trees that are gonna fall anyways, burn some big old bonfires. And you know what the best thing about being in this area is there's not crazy like rules and regulations as far as building. So all you really gotta do in order to build out here in the county, you just gotta have a septic permit and also an electrical permit. The rest, should be super easy, which that means we're gonna be able to throw stuff up super fast and be able to get into full production before you know it. But man, this is just an insane, just part of the Goon Squad, just life right here. You know what I mean? This is just so awesome. And we're super happy we get to take you guys with us, but that's gonna be it for the tour today. Drop all your comments and thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Stay tuned for some super epic stuff and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.